Hiya folks, Antar here, and I'm back with a new battle. My opponent today is Wargasm, and while he does have a YouTube channel, uh, which you can check out, he doesn't have anything on it, um, but I guess if you want to contact him for whatever reason. Anyway, I see that my opponent has an Espeon, so that's going to color my decisions in this battle a little bit. Um, so I go ahead and start off. Um, he's going to go ahead and lead off. I'm going to go ahead and lead off with my Jirachi, thinking that he might think it's a lead Jirachi. Uh, as he sends out his um, Gly Glyscore. So I'm going to go ahead and calm mine, uh, thinking... Uh, he, I don't actually run Stealth Rock on here, but I was hoping that he would think so, and send out his Espeon, giving me a free switch. No such luck. He goes ahead and Earthquakes me, but it's not even a 2 hit KO. That's really awesome. I love, love this Jirachi set. Physically defensive, bold nature, 252 HP, 252... Um, uh, defense, this thing can take a hit, uh, like nobody's business. Anyway, Poison Orb is obvious, uh, or I mean Toxic Orb is obvious. Uh, I go ahead and get off the Doom's IRB before switching out, <coughs> and send out my, um, Tachikoma predicting the Earthquake and thinking that he really probably can't do too much to me. He goes ahead and switches out, um, and switches out into his, um, Espeon, unfortunately for me. I go ahead and go for the Overheat. I'll explain why, unfortunately, for me in a bit. I wasn't, you know, doing some kind of, and maybe you thought I was going to will a wisp or something, but that's not what I was going to do. I instead took him out with an Overheat. The sucky thing about that is that Doom Desire has no target and completely wastes Doom Desire. Ah. Anyway, I'm going to have to switch out here since this is a Spexed Rotom. And I go ahead and send out my Jufro, um, correctly predicting that he was going to go ahead and Dragon Dance. <clears throat> so why is the Dragon Dance good for me? Because I run Stun Spore, which will completely cripple him. Um, unfortunately, he switches, and instead I only get to Stun Spore his um, Victini. Victini is an awesome Pokemon. I love Victini, but I haven't yet had an opportunity to put it on a team. Anyway, I go ahead and switch out, fearing a electric type, I don't know, a fire type move. Um, but he gets Parahax anyway. I go ahead and go for the Shadow Ball, which I'm hoping should be enough to take it out, considering I am Spexed. Amazingly, Jirachi, not Jirachi, um, Victini survives um, and goes ahead and U turns out of there, although 4x resisted, not really doing too much to me. Um, anyway, uh, he sends out his uh, Gyarados again, gets off the Intimidate like I care. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and stay in and Shadow Ball just to see what happens. Um, does an okay amount. Unfortunately, he runs the Stone Edge, and that's going to KO my Rotom um, Heat Form, which is unfortunate. It's, it was doing so well in this battle, and it's really nice to have out. Anyway, this gives me the perfect chance to switch into my HCHB, um, since you know I'm at full health, there are no rocks up. And uh, while he's, his Earthquake doesn't even get me down to my Sash, and I'm able to get off a Shell Smash, I was a little bit concerned that he might go for the Dragon Dance, but then I would just keep on Shell Smashing. Um, it's not like uh, too many uh, Gyarados has run um, you know, status moves. Anyway, at this point, I'm going to outspeed him, and I'm going to go ahead and Rock Slide, and at plus two, there's no way that's not going to deliver the KO. I was a little bit fearing the attack would miss, um, I really wish there was a more accurate Rock-type move out there. I guess there's Knockdown, but who would want to run Knockdown? Anyway, maybe he didn't think I had the Aqua Jet, um, but doesn't have to be paralyzed anyway. So anyway, that's an easy kill for me, and I've taken down his Victini. Um, so anyway, next out for him is his, um, his, uh, play score, and this is the end of my sweep. There's nothing I can do to him besides a plus two Aqua Jet, which gets him down to half, but that's really not enough. Uh, and so Earthquake is going to take me out, and that is that. Um, HCHB does ama did amazingly well. I have, have no regrets. Anyway, gonna go ahead and send out my Jufro. Gonna go ahead and get off a of Giga Drain here, um, just you know to do some damage. And as you see, it does a hell of a lot. Um, Ice Fang does a lot to me too, but unfortunately, he gets the Freeze Hacks. I'm like, oh god, you gotta be kidding me! Luckily, Ice Fang is not even a two hit KO here, and so I'm hoping that I can on thaw in time. And I get down to 8 HP, and I'm like, oh god, oh god, oh god! Uh, I'm frozen solid, I'm like, well, that's it. I just leave it in for fodder. And then his attack misses, and I'm like, whoo! Oh, are you serious? And now I fall out, and I get to use Endeavor! So it's the best thing ever! No pun intended. Anyway, he did not attack that turn for whatever reason. Went for the Stealth Rocks, which is actually going to hurt me quite a bit. Maybe he thought I was going to switch out. But anyway, I go ahead and go for the Giga Drain here. Get back a little bit of HP and take out his Gliscor, which was easily the biggest threat to my team. 
Um, so now he goes ahead and sends out his Tauros, and I misplayed here. I should have gone for the Endeavor. I thought that he was faster. I didn't realize just how fast uh, Whimsicott's are, and he takes me out. So, eh, life lesson. Anyway, I go ahead and send out my Hitmon top. Uh, he's going to go ahead and go for the Zen Headbutt, um, and I'm thinking that it's probably sheer force, so I don't really have to fear, um, I don't really have to fear the flinch. But I go ahead and spin away the rocks, and seeing how much damage that Zen Headbutt did, I figure I'm going to switch out because I'm not sure that I can one hit KO it with Mach Punch, even Technician Boosted. Um, anyone want to run some counts for me? Let me know. Um, anyway, I go ahead and send out Jirachi here because his Jirachi can tank his um, Zen Headbutt, and if he runs Earthquake, then I might have an issue, but I'm not sure that he runs Earthquake, so moment of truth time. Does he run Earthquake? Uh, he goes for return, means probably not. So in that case, I really do wall this guy. I'm gonna go ahead and get off the wish, get my HP back up, or get, you know, whoever I decide to switch HPs back up. Um, he goes ahead and goes for the rock slide here. Um, does a little bit of damage, not much, and he flinches me. So this is actually an anchor point Tauros. Really strange. I'm back up to full HP, by the way. He's gonna go ahead and call back his bulldozer, realizing that I completely wall him, and goes in for his Machamp. I go ahead and go for the Combine on the Switch, uh, and now I'm a little bit fearing this Machamp, um, but at plus one, I'm hoping that Psy Shock could, could take it out. And so, drum roll, please. And yeah, yeah, I KO it quite easily, which is great because. Oh, no, no, I don't! He goes for the payback. He surrounds with like one HP. Yeah, that's actually kind of awesome uh, for him. But yeah, you know, not much you can really do. Uh, I'm going to take him out on the next turn, and that's going to be that. Um, Machamp, I don't think this, this must not have been a, um, no, I guess it must have been a no guard Machamp. I'm not sure why he didn't go for the fighting type move since it would have been the same effectiveness. Anyway, he goes and sends out the last Pokemon, his Bulldozer, um, and he's going to go for the Rock Climb here. He really should run, I mean, I don't know whether he's sad or creeps, but uh, if he's sad, might as well make it Anger Point. It's legal now, at least I'm pretty sure it's legal. Uh, not Anger Point, I'm sorry, it should make it sheer force. Uh, Tauros would get a huge boost, and you, then you could run Leftovers, and it would be awesome, but whatever. Um, actually, maybe it was Miss Save, uh, Miss Sav, rather. Um, but anyway, I'm completely walling this guy, and it's just a matter of how many flinch hacks is he going to get before I take him out. Um, I love Taurus, it's a really cool Pokemon, I might try to run one again. Um, I mean, I haven't used it since the days of PBR, but I, I love it, and it's got, uh, with Sheer Forge now, it's got a lot more options. Uh, and it is pretty hellishly fast, it's just not as fast as a Whimsicott. And so, finally here, I don't get flinched, and I go ahead and take it out with a side shot, and that is the game. So, good- oh, no, no, he survives! Wow, okay, I'm sorry, uh, I take it back. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I guess I'll take him out next turn. Uh, he goes for the rock climb, and misses, and now I take it out, I'm sorry. Good game, Wargasm, uh, and I should give that Tauros more props than I was giving it. So, yeah, that's the game. So long, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. Peace out.